this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life, and this process video is for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I'm just giving you my code right there for Miranda 15. And I decided to use these two sketches and combine them for my particular layout today. And there are my pictures, there's the sketch. I get all of my sketches from Christina Davis. I have all of the ones that she comes out with, and if I don't have like my mojo, I go to her sketches because they always give me mojo. And I happen to like the bottom two sketches of the last page that I used, which was page 33. And I combined them. And you'll see how I combined them. So I am using my How to Kill the Kit with Style and for June. And let me tell you, I'm getting down to the bare minimums of this particular one. I'm getting to where there's a lot of strips and a lot of little weird shape pieces and however you want to look at it. So for me, I'm not used to that. By now, I would have thrown out all of this stuff. Like this would have been gone. Like I wouldn't even have been messing with this. But because I am doing this series and that particular series, I wanted to be able to show you how to really fully kill a kit. So. With that being said, I'm going through all my scraps. This is pretty much getting to the point where I am getting to the point where I'm like literally getting down to the bare minimums of this particular one. And I stopped the camera and I went to distress every of all these pieces. And since there were so many pieces to distress, I just did that all off camera. And I just used my little distress tool to make the, the edges look a little bit you know, distressed. And here I am, I'm just placing them all together. And while you watch me do this, I did something different with my sequence. I did put down the normal ones where I'll place, you know, the sequence in certain little spots and this, that, and the other. But I also decided to make shaker pockets out of little rings that look like embroidery rings that you would get like if you were going to embroider or cross stitch or something like that. Um, they were in my stash. They weren't part of this kit, but I wanted to be able to do something a little bit different for you guys um, because I tend to just put down sequence and my layout, you know, on it. And so that's what I do differently and I do almost all of it on camera. And the pictures that I am placing down right there as you see me finish up with my little papers. The pictures that I have there is the very last picture that I have of Kaylin's first day of school in Germany. I we PCS in September and she went to school for, believe it or not, four, 14 or 15 days in Germany and then we moved to where we're at now in Georgia and started school literally two days after touching ground. I made sure that this kid just started and went. So this is the first time she rode a bus to get to school and I had to take pictures. You know, that's the whole thing about being a mom and scrapbookers. You had to take pictures and this is her bestie. And so I talk about it in the journaling and I talk about um, making this like the best, like for best friends about it. So those are the pictures. And here are the little shaker pockets that I'm making. I did acetate on one side and I'm filling up with the two sequence mix. The two sequence mixes that I'm using is called Out of This World and Ariel's Tail. And I just place them in there and then obviously at the end I do place a bunch of the sequence all over too. And then there is close-ups at the end to show you what the shaker pockets look like. And I really liked how these turned out. I just filled it with quite a bit of the sequence mixes in there. And it actually works out pretty good. And I take this great, like, great colored piece of paper and draw circles around it and get it placed on there. And I'm using Tombow so that the shaker pocket does not come apart. I would like you to check out the shop if you enjoy the two sequence mixes that I use. Make sure that you go over to the shop. I'll have all of the links down below for you. There they are. They're all done. And I shook them just so you can see it. 
uh, make sure you go over and check out the shop and use my code Miranda15 for an additional 15% off. And I'm making tags, placing them there, and I do. Okay. Yes, I do do a third one, and it's a little bit further into this. I thought there was three gold tags, and at first I was just going to leave those two, and I was like, ah, oh, that's okay, I can't find it. Well, then I do actually find it. It was in a little bag, and then I put it out there, so you'll see me do that. And this little tag here is Inspired Daily, and then the other little tag that I placed down is called Best Friend. Because these two were really good friends. in school and and in our little area when we would get together and that kind of stuff just to hang out and stuff. They really enjoyed themselves. They were in school together in that class for preschool. No, they weren't. They were in the next door. And then it ha so happened that this particular one too was in the next door as well, that they were in two different classes, but they rode the bus together every day. They like to sit there and talk. And the very last picture that you see on there, it's those two just talking away, acting like nothing is going to change, and they didn't care that they were heading on the Audubon over to their school. Kaylin still rides the bus here while we're where we live at. She gets on the bus every day and comes home every day off the bus, and she just loves it. She's loving um, summer break right now, but she's always over at a good friend's house. We always say that, am I going over to Jeremiah, Joseph something something Garcia? And we're all, I'm like, yes, yeah, that's where you're going. So she's pretty, she's pretty adamant. So I'm placing my glue dots down on this and placing the thread there so that they stay in place. And I really like how that works perfectly. And I took these stickers that say best, best friends, or these like word stickers, place it as best friends right there. And I get that down, and pretty much this is where the first sketch that you saw was part of this. And I felt that the top was a little boring, I would say, for it. And I take the second sketch, the top part of it, and do that as, as like pulling the sketch all together, the two sketches together. So here, this is where I start to do the second sketch, like the top part of it. And there it's all done. I just wanted to get them all quickly done. And I grabbed some word stickers from Maggie Holmes. And you'll see them at the still shots at the end. And this is coming to an end. I'm almost ready to call it a day. And that's where I put the date stamp. I'm just taking stickers off of here and placing it. So there's my date stamp. Sorry for my head. I just wanted to add a pop of blue on the top and the bottom. And so I cut that sticker in half. And then this is where I get the journaling out. And I start to work on the journaling. And I think I do the journal. I do the journaling off camera. But I do place it so you can see where that's at. So here are the sequence mixes that I pull back out again. And I just pull out random colors. They all match what I did here for my uh, kit. I've done pretty good so far. Ever since we started this kit, How to Kill a Kit, um, for the month of June, every layout that you have seen has been a kit. I've used those kits, and I've been doing pretty good about it. And it's matched up where I've been able to use different colors of sequence mixes for what the papers I have left over in these kits. And like this particular one, I got to use two different styles, and it matches perfectly, not only because of the colors that I placed, but the colors in the photos um, accent 
it a little bit better for the colors that I did pick or the mix of those you today. Sorry about that, didn't mean to yawn. And I'm just placing the sequence mix down. And I do get out my acrotons. I'm so sad. So, so sad. My white right there, it's done. And I don't have any more. And I feel, I'm like so sad because they don't, she moves don't sell it anymore. So that's the last of it right there. That's all I have. And so I'm going to leave you with the splatters. Make sure you go check out the shop and also check the still shop at the end. Remember my code and also like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.